and welcome to today's video. Uh, last week I posted on my Instagram story what your most requested video idea would be. Uh, so this week I'm going to be doing a Q&A since a lot of you guys actually requested a Q&A. Um, so then I later posted on my story asking what kind of questions you wanted to know. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, I also have to meal prep for the week so I'm also just going to be chopping away while I answer these questions. So I get stuff done and then you're visually entertained. So anyways, if you're interested in some of these crazy questions, keep on watching. And also, if you haven't done so already, hit that button and subscribe to my channel because I upload new videos every single week. Hair is up. I'm officially ready. I'm just going through all these questions. <laughs> some of them are just so random. I just don't know even where to start. Ooh, let's start with an easy one. It says, what is your favorite thing about your boyfriend and what annoys you the most about him? So my favorite thing is definitely that he's like super considerate like of my feelings just cause like I am sensitive AF. Um, but the thing that bugs me the most is like if he has cereal like or basically like, anything that has like a package or a box, he will just leave it on the counter and then I have like OCD. So I have to like go behind him and take down the box and flatten it and put it in the recycling. And it's not that he won't do it, it's just that like, he doesn't do it at the speed of which I would like, if that makes sense. So, like I'm not an easy girl to live with and I know that. Next. Do you want kids? If so, how many? Huh. I mean right now, I do not want kids. And I have too many plans and like projects and stuff that I just feel like I, like, I, don't, I don't want them in the near future. Like I can't specifically say like when I would want them. Maybe by 30, but I might be feeling this way when I'm 30, so I might never have kids. But ultimately, like, I guess two, so that they can play with each other. Heck yeah! Give some mom some time. What would my dream bathroom look like? Such a random question, but, um, except I know the answer to this. My bathroom would have a bowl sink, like those clear bowl sinks from, like, Ikea. The only thing is I feel like I'd have to be rich because I'd have to, like, have somebody to clean it every day for me because it would drive me nuts to um, see like stains and stuff. No! Ah! Vain! Sweet potatoes on the ground! Go get it! Don't knock my camera over! Ah! Okay, so yeah, bowl sink. What do I eat for breakfast? I eat a lot of like fried zucchini and stuff. I eat a lot of like asparagus for breakfast. Like I'm not like I'm not a wild breakfast girl. Like I eat breakfast, don't get me wrong, but oh and something that I do have every day is a shot of apple cider vinegar, always. I have MCT oil in my tea, just like healthy fats. And then I do have uh, this which is just magnesium powder. So those are my must must have breakfast things. Have you ever or will you ever have a boob job or lip fillers? No and no, because boob jobs freak me out because I read so much like stuff on how boob jobs have all these new, like this newfound research on like mental health problems and just like a bunch of terrible, terrible things that they're all coming out with now. And I just worry like you're putting a foreign object in your body. I mean, I'm not bashing anyone that has boob job, but yeah, scary. Anyways, and then lip fillers, nah, because like, since this Kylie Jenner made everybody want big lips, I feel as though the trend will come back and small lips will be in and then I will be in style. Tips to get yourself to the gym after work when you're exhausted. So I'm not gonna really expand on this because I did a video on my tips to get to myself to the gym. So check that out because I will link that below. I really like it because those tips work for me. Because sometimes like, I don't know, people are like, just pick new songs or like get motivated, but it's like, it doesn't work like that, people. You need real motivation. So anyways, I'll stop waving my knife and I will just link that below, so check that out. This is a question, it says, I work out every day so my hair gets sweaty, but I don't wanna wash it all the time. What should I do? Girl, it's called dry shampoo. I mean, like, I wrap it all the time. Dry shampoo for life, because honestly, like your hair would get so dried out if you washed it all the time, like multiple times a day. Like sometimes I work out two or three times a day doing different things and like my hair isn't cute. So like, I don't know, dry shampoo all the way. No shame. 
Do you ever have non-confident moments like cellulite issues, la la la? Yeah, everybody I think has those. Um, I have like this cellulite roller I bought, so I made Kyle <laughs> like to the back of my legs. He's like, there's no cellulite. And it's like, yeah, because I'm rolling it. Anyways, he bugs me about it because he's like, there's nothing there. I, but it's like, it's still something that like I'm self-conscious about. So I bought mine off of Amazon and I find those since I've been doing a lot of leg workouts, like targeting the back of my legs, it's, there really isn't any cellulite. Where do you work out? So I used to work out at Good Life and Movadi when I lived in Guelph, but now that I live up north, I work out at the military gym, which is called Dundonald Hall. So it's in uh, like Petawawa, which is the military base. So it's really big and I love it so much. And there's like so many things that you can do and like so much equipment. I really like it and it's lots of space too. So even when it is busy, there's always room to do stuff. What is Kyle's biggest pet peeve about you? Ooh, I mean, I'm pretty perfect. No JK. Um, it's when I do the dishes and I leave a puddle of water beside the sink because I don't see it from my ang like my angle. Like I don't know it's there, but from his angle when he walks in, it's just like a giant puddle seeping on the counter. But I clean it up now. I'm a changed woman. So now, now there's nothing to complain about about me. If he's watching this, he's probably really rolling his eyes now. So love ya. So the last question is how old and what kind of puppy do you have? So, hi Bainer. He's just like watching me right now in the window. Um, so, Bain, which is also named Daniel when he's in trouble, um, he is 10 months old. He's a cane corso. People say Kanye corso, I don't know. Um, and he's mixed with a pit bull. So a lot of times he has like one ear down and one ear up. So it's like half pit bull, half Kanye corso. And he's so cute. He's really, really smart. Um, but he doesn't know his size because he's like 90 pounds and he is a thick, Boy. Hello. Okay, let's see. Can I get a paw? Paw. Good boy. Other paw? Good boy. Anyways, that concludes this video. I'm about to put the food in the oven. Um, again, if you haven't subscribed, hit that button because it really supports my channel. And uh, yeah, check out my living room video if you haven't already because it was pretty wicked. Anyways, I'll see you next week.